The Word of God says in Ephesians 1 verse 3, Thanks be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. This is a pointer that God has blessed us already. By this, we are operating on the covenant of blessings, not curses. These blessings also extend to your loved ones. Also, remember that you are a seed of Abraham, and being a seed of Abraham means that you are qualified to partake in all the blessings that Abraham enjoyed while he was on earth. You are not the one who is trying hard to be blessed. You are already blessed, and you are not scared of any kind of curse, because no one can curse who God has blessed. Today, we will enforce all the blessings that we are meant to walk in, and we are yet to come into the full manifestation of these blessings. As I declare these prayers over you, do well to receive them with faith. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for blessing us with all forms of blessings. We say thank you, Lord. We are thanking you because we are blessed and not cursed. We are operating on the premise that we are above all the strategies of the wicked ones to bring us to the pit of misery and sorrow. Glory be to your mighty name. Genesis 1 verse 28 says, And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. The word of God has made it clear that God has blessed us right from the very beginning, and he has commanded us to be fruitful, to multiply and replenish the earth. I therefore pray for you that you will be fruitful on every side. You will multiply all the good things that God has committed into your hands, and you will not be wasteful as you will replenish all the resources that God has committed into your care in the name of Jesus. Psalm 29 verse 11 says, May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. I pray for you today that the Lord will give you strength to make wealth, and he will bless everything you set your mind and hands to do in the name of Jesus. You will not grow weary when you are faint. You are strengthened with all might by God's Spirit in your inner man. The Word of God says in Proverbs 10 verse 22, The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. I pray for anyone listening to me today that God's blessings will increase your level of joy, and you will never be sorrowful in Jesus' name. The plan of the wicked ones to make you sorrowful as God's blessings is seen upon you is rendered null and void today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that nothing good will you lack, because the word of God says that the young lion suffers lack and hunger, but those who trust in the Lord will not lack anything good. You won't be short of resources and help to move to the next phase of your life and ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Lack will always be a thing of the past in your life. I pray for you that you will never know a better yesterday in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you will always delight over the Lord, and as you do this, he will give you the desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. You will find pleasure in seeking God's face, and not just what he has to give to you in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 says, And God can make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. According to God's infallible and impregnable word, you will always be sufficient in all things and you will also abound in every good work the Lord has committed into your care in Jesus' name. I declare the grace for you to increase wealth. You won't squander the resources that God has given to you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the waster that wants to infest your finances is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. You will not be a victim to the Midian spirit who wastes people's effort in the name that is above every other name. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. God opens doors for his children through opportunities and new connections. When you ask the Lord for open doors, you should also be ready for the challenges that come with the open doors. There are many ways God can open doors for his children, and some of the ways are new jobs, new businesses, new connections, new cars, and so on. As a child of God, you have access to open doors. 
The one who has the keys of David can open doors which no man can shut and shut doors which no man can open. The word of God made it clear to us that the will of God for us is that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. One thing that can make you prosper is when God opened doors for you. Today, I will be declaring open doors for you and your family. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, I thank you Father for being a loving Father and a caring Father who normally opens doors for us any time that we need help urgently. Glory be to your name Lord Jesus for being a great Father who does great things for us. In the name of Jesus, I thank you Lord Jesus for doing great things for us. I bless your name Lord Jesus for making your goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Word of God says in Isaiah 22 verse 22, I will give him the key to the house of David the highest position in the royal court. When he opens doors, no one will be able to close them. When he closes doors, no one will be able to open them. According to the Word of God that is infallible, the Lord will give you the key of David that will help you to open great and mighty doors that will cause you to flourish on every side in Jesus' name. Colossians 4 verse 3 says, Pray for us too that God will give us many opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. That is why I am here in chains. According to God's word, I pray for you that the Lord will open great doors for you to flourish in doing his work and propagating the gospel in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord will open those doors that have been shut against you. The doors that the wicked ones shut against you are opened this very minute. I release the grace of open doors upon you and the members of your family. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. By the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will help you to trust him with all your heart. And as you do that the Lord will grant you the petitions of your heart in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the angels that have been sent to minister to you will locate you and cause great doors of opportunities to find you and your family in the name of Jesus. The angel of the Lord will cause your eyes to see opportunities that are around you. And you won't take these opportunities for granted in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you won't lack anything good. All that you need to fulfill destiny is provided this season for you. I decree over you that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you, which will cause you to be favored anywhere you find yourself. Matthew 7 verse 7 says keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. By virtue of the word of God, I pray that you will not faint when asking God for your petitions. You will keep on knocking until great doors are open to you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will provide all the things that will make you live and lead a productive life while here. You won't lack anything good because the Lord will always be your ever-present help in times of trouble in Jesus' name. I decree over you that any demonic door that is being disguised as a godsent door is shut right now against you. You will only access doors that the Lord has planned for you to enter into in Jesus' name. I bless your name Lord Jesus for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The will of God is encapsulated in his word. God's will for his children is that they prosper and be in health, even as their soul prospers. You should know that God wants the best for you and your family, and he wants nothing short of that. Your family might be going through unfavorable situations which are contrary to the will of God, but you can stand as a priest to enforce the will of God for your family. The will of God is often opposed to coming to fruition by the devil and his cohorts. This is the foremost reason you must stand as a priest to ensure that the will of God sees the light of the day. No matter what your family might have lost in the past, it is still possible to recover those things. 
The thoughts of God towards you are that you walk in full manifestation of all the good things that God has in store for you as his child. Today, we will be enforcing the will of God in our families. The word of God is in our mouths, and do not forget that we are kings and our words are laws. As I will be making these declaration over you and your family, do well to receive these prayers in faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you because the thoughts you have towards us are of good, and not of evil to give us an expected end. We bless your name Lord because your will for our lives will be manifested from today, and no force will prevent it from coming to pass. Lord Jesus, we bless your name because your will for our families will make our families stand strong in the face of unsavory situations. We bless your name because your promises for our families are yea and amen in you. We know that in your time, all the good things that you have in store for our families will begin to see the light of the day. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the promises of the Lord over your family are manifesting right now whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that the will of the Lord for your family will not be truncated with your hands, and it will never be delayed by the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will expose the agenda of the wicked ones to truncate his will for you and your family in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will arise in his mightiness and scatter all the enemies of your family who are fighting tooth and nail to prevent the will of the Lord from coming to manifestation in your family. I decree over you and your family that the fire of the Lord will expose all the hiding corners of the wicked ones who are strategizing and putting their pieces of machinery in place to frustrate your family out of God's will for it in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that a mother might forget her suckling child, but the Lord can never forget his own. I pray for you and your family that the Lord will ensure that he hastens to perform his promises and covenant over you and your family in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord is enforced in all areas of your life and family, whether the devil and his agents like it or not in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming all household wickedness who are pretending to be friendly and delaying the will of God from coming to fruition in your families in Jesus' name. The Lord is exposing all unfriendly friends who are working against God's will for your family. You will be discerning enough to know the people who have been sent to distract you and your loved ones out of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 7 verse 7 that we should ask, and it will be given to us. We should knock, the door will be opened unto us, and we should seek, we will find. I pray for you that you will keep on persisting in the place of asking, knocking and seeking until the will of God begins to manifest in all areas of your life and family in the name of Jesus. The waiting power and ability have been bestowed upon you to seek the face of the Lord until there is a shift in your family in Jesus' name. Luke 18 verse 1 says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. I declare over you that since you are the priest in charge of your family, you won't stop praying over every member of your family. You won't get weary in the place of prayers as you stand in the gap for your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When we talk about promotion, we are talking about God moving you from your present level to another greater and bigger level. Our Father is a God who enjoys picking a man who is in the valley and who has hit rock bottom to the mountain top. It is understandable if you are tired of where you are presently. This shows that you need a change. Just like Jabez was tired of where he was, and he cried to God to change his name and also elevate his status. God who is a God who listens and answers prayers granted him the desire of his heart. You can cry to God wherever you are for him to turn your story around. It doesn't matter how long you have been in that situation. What matters is that you need a desperate change. I want to assure you that God is still in the business of changing the story of any man. Remember that he is never a respecter of persons. This is the best time to cry unto God to lift you from the miry clay and set your feet on the mountain top. 
If God can lift a beggar who isn't sure of where his next meal will come from from the pit and set him among princes, then he can also the same for you. Hallelujah. We will be engaging our words with faith and with all sincerity of heart and passion. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you because even before we call on you, you have heard us and given us the petitions of our hearts. Blessed be to your name, Father, because we know that you are a God who can do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we think and ask according to the power that is at work in us. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you because we know you are changing our stories today and not tomorrow. We know that faith is now, and we believe that you are elevating our stories today. We are no longer in the mire clay or in the valley. Psalm 75 verse 7 says that God is a judge who puts one down and sets up another person. I pray for anyone under the sound of my voice today that God who is the righteous judge will set you up for a big promotion this season and bring down those who are plotting your downfall in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the strange patterns that are still in your lineage that are still making you go around in circles are broken right now in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the fire of the Lord is destroying every curse that is causing delay and stagnation in your life in Jesus' name. Proverbs 3 verse 35 says, The wise will inherit honor, but fools display dishonor. According to the word of God, I decree over you that you will be given double honor anywhere you find yourself. You won't be dishonored like a fool in the name of Jesus. I release the grace for favor and honor upon you. You are clothed with the garment of honor and favor in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I declare over anyone who is listening to me today that those things that you are struggling to get are given to you easily. The words that I speak are spirit and life. Therefore I decree over you that the things that your parents found hard to get, you will get it easily in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will send you help from the sanctuary. You won't lack help when you need it as the Lord will send you helpers of your destiny. I also pray for you that the Lord will send you sons of consolation who will always bring you comfort and help in areas where you need them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 75 verses 6 and 7 says, For not from the east, nor the west, nor the desert comes exaltation, but God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. I pray for you that where you never expect promotion and help, the Lord will send you promotion and help. In the unlikely of places will men honor and exalt you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will cause you to be at the right place and at the right time which is a major catalyst for promotion in Jesus' name. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It is necessary that thanksgiving should be your lifestyle. Our Lord Jesus cultivated the lifestyle of consistently giving thanks to God. When the praises go up, the glory comes down. There are days you will not feel like thanking God because of the negative things going on around you. But that is the best time to thank God. As a matter of fact, the best way to access God's presence is through thanksgiving. Psalm 100 verse 4 says you should enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. The right posture to coming to God is a posture of appreciation and gratitude for the good things he did for you in the past, what he is doing presently, and what he is still going to do in the future. Give thanks to God at all times. The word of God says in Ephesians 5 verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a good thing to give thanks to God. People that have made thanksgiving a lifestyle are called people after God's heart like the way David was called. I trust that you will be called that today after these prayers. It is time to pray together in faith. Father in the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord Jesus for saving and redeeming us from the curse of the law. We thank you Lord for making us like you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Now is the time for you to personalize this prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me unconditionally despite all my flaws and all my errors. I thank you for loving me for who I am and not for what I am. 
Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your provision. Thank you for always providing for me and my family at the point of our need. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 and 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Father, according to your word, I am here to thank you for all that you have done for me and my family. Thank you Lord Jesus for being a loving and a caring Father to us. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 1 says, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. In the name of Jesus, I am giving thanks to you Lord for your steadfast love and because of your constant goodness towards me and my family. I thank you Lord Jesus for putting a new song on my lips and on the lips of every member of my family. Glory be to your holy name, Lord Jesus. I thank you for putting the devil and all his minions warring against your will from coming to pass in my life into null and void. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have no other thing to offer to you other than the words of my lips, which is gratitude. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have blessed me with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in you. Thank you because I have all that pertains to life and godliness. Lord Jesus, I give you the adoration for making me more than a conqueror through your perfect and unconditional love for me. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Father, I am here with a sincere heart to bless your name for destroying all the activities of darkness in my life and family. I extol your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always hearing and answering all my prayers. I know you for never leaving me to myself and allowing the enemies to triumph over me. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. In the name of Jesus, I bless your name Lord Jesus for giving me the ability to not be anxious or bothered about anything, but to always give thanks to you in every situation that I go through. Psalms 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. According to your word, I am here to say thank you with all of my heart for all the good things you have done for me in the past, present and future. Thank you Lord Jesus because you have given me the ability to always recount of all the wonderful things you have done for me whether I am in the good or bad times. Thank you Lord Jesus. Let your name Lord Jesus be praised for exalting your word above all my present circumstances that are contrary to your will in my life. Father, I thank you for giving me the ability to always come to your presence with confidence and boldness. I bless your name Lord Jesus for making my thanksgiving overflow, always to your glory Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus. Let your name Lord Jesus be glorified and exalted above all the heavens and the earth. Thank you Jesus for allowing your word to be my priority despite all the things that are happening around me in the name of Jesus. I will keep on thanking you Lord Jesus because your love and mercy endure in my life and family. I extol your name Lord for also perfecting all that concern me and my family in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for making your ways known to me and my family. Thank you Jesus for revealing your plans and purpose for me and my family. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for making me a light, even in the dark and perverse generation. I give you the praise for making me stand rooted in your love and never compromise my love and faith in you. Thank you for satisfying my mouth with good things and loading me daily with benefits. I thank you because I am extraordinarily blessed and extravagantly loved in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your name, Lord, for destroying all the activities of the devil and his cohorts in my life and family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for annulling all the evil plots of the wicked ones that are planning to disgrace me and my family in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all our prayers of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, we have thanked. The victory that Christ gave to you when he died on the cross over 2,000 years ago was complete in him and cannot be reversed. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. The devil might want to lie to you that you are a failure 
and that you cannot win that battle against cancer, disease, poverty, and every other thing that is against the will of God for you. The victory that you have been given is not a temporary one. It is a permanent one. Your mistakes and faults cannot make the victory to be reversed. I want you to know that the things that seem impossible to you can be achieved because you have the mindset of a victor and not a victim. Even if you fail at first, you are not a failure. Failure is just an event and never you. You will always emerge victorious in anything you lay your hands to do. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord Jesus for always making us victorious in your name. Your word says that in all the things that we are going through, we are still more than conquerors. We say thank you Lord Jesus for giving us victory over the works of the enemies. Glory be to your mighty name Lord Jesus. Father, we are grateful to your name for not allowing the wicked ones to triumph over us in any way. We say thank you for covering all our weaknesses and not allowing the wicked ones to leverage our weaknesses against us. We extol and magnify your holy name. The word of God says in Philippians 2 verses 9 and 11 that our Lord Jesus has been given a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess his lordship. According to the word of God, I pray for you that all the powers that are waging war against you and your family are brought under subjection, this very minute in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will always give you victory over all the works of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will raise the banner of his love over you and your loved ones. And as this is done, you will always be on the conquering side. I declare over you that you will never taste defeat in any area of your life. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that the things that are hard for you to accomplish will become easy because the Lord is giving you wisdom that no man can gainsay or say no to. You have been given the spirit of excellence which will always make you stand out among the crowd in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in 1 John 5 4 that whoever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. I therefore pray for you that since you are born of God, you have overcome all the things that are waging war against you and your faith will remain steadfast and immovable despite the storms that are assuaging around you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will always put on the whole armor of God to be able to withstand the wiles of the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus. You won't trivialize the armor of God that you have been given in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare over you that the Lord is giving you victory over all demonic patterns that are at work in your family. Right now, I break that satanic cycle that has placed your life on siege in Jesus' name. You are not under any curse, spell, hex, divination or enchantment, because the blood of Jesus has given you total victory over all these evil patterns and proclamations. I decree over you that today, you will sing songs of victory over the wicked ones who have sworn not to give you a breathing space in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the wicked ones who are chasing you are drowned this minute. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord is giving you rest on every side against all the wicked forces of darkness who are ganged up to make life miserable for you and your loved ones. You are no more under any kind of satanic attack or manipulation because God is for you. Therefore, no one can be against you. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The kind of peace that God gives to his children is not as the world gives. The world's kind of peace is often compromised due to some prevalent things attached to it, which are designed to still make you worried at the end of the day. The word of word made it clear to us that Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace which means that he is the custodian of peace. You can never find true peace outside of Christ. Many people can promise you peace, but the truth is that the peace they would offer you is just momentary. If you need peace, come to Jesus because he is the one who has the keys to peace with him. You might be going through some things that are not pleasant, but the truth is when Jesus is in your boat, 
you are assured of still being at peace. You should not be scared of any kind of storm because the one who controls the storm is sailing with you. Today, we will be praying for peace in our lives and families. We will do that together in faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord for being our Prince of Peace. We bless your name because you are in the boat, and because of this, we are not scared of storms. Storms might come and wind might blow, but we know that you will still pull us through amidst this. Glory be to your holy name. Lord Jesus, we are grateful for giving us a peace which surpasses all understanding. We believe that you will always show us the right path to take which will make us live in a state of peace all the days of our lives. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Your peace will make us often triumph over the works of darkness. We extol and magnify your name, Lord. Romans 15 verse 13 says Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. According to the word of God, I pray for you that you will be filled with hope, joy and peace in every area of your life. Your family will also experience hope, joy and peace in every ramification in the mighty name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 3 says, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Because of the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will always give you peace, which will make you stand firm in the face of danger and persecution in the mighty name of Jesus. You will find peace irrespective of what the world is doing against you and your family. The Bible says in John 14 verse 17 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. I decree over you that the world system of peace will never be found within your habitation in the name of Jesus. Your heart will never be troubled by the things that are happening in the world system in Jesus' name. Psalm 34 verse 14 says Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. By the name that is above every other name, you will learn to depart from evil and do good. You will also seek peace and pursue it, and I pray for you that as you do this, you will find peace which surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I also pray for you that you will exhibit an aura of peace anywhere you find yourself. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 7, And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I, therefore, pray for you that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You will not be dismayed by the world's trouble and worries in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 4 verse 8 says in peace, I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. According to God's word, I pray for you that any time you lie down to sleep, you will dwell in peace and safety. You will never be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly during the night in Jesus' name. Psalm 94 verse 19 says, When my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your consolations delight my soul. I, therefore, pray for you and your family that the Lord's peace will make you not be anxious for anything. His peace will guard your heart to a state of calm despite the turmoils and storms around you and your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The desire of God for you is that you live in prosperity because he has given you the ability to make wealth. Anyone can become wealthy. One lie that the devil often tells Christians is that once they are rich, they won't love God like they used to do when they were poor. Meanwhile, it is possible to love God and still be wealthy. Our fathers in faith loved God and at the same time, they were wealthy. Examples are Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and so on. The desire of God for you is that you operate in wealth and not in poverty. You should also realize that money answers all things and the kingdom of God won't be propagated effectively and efficiently without money. Poverty is never of God. It is of the devil. God can never punish his loving children with poverty because there is no evil in him. Poverty in itself is a disease, and it can be cured by a change of mindset. You must believe that you can be wealthy 
and that money is not evil. Today, we will be praying against poverty and lack. Join me as we pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we thank you for blessing us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. We say thank you because we know we are operating with the economy of heaven and not of the world. The world is not our standard on how to make wealth. Rather your word is the standard on how to create wealth. Glory be to your mighty name. In Jesus' name, we say thank you Lord for giving us the ability to make wealth. We know that we can never be poor because the willpower to make wealth has been given to us. And because of this, we can never languish in poverty. We say thank you to your mighty and holy name. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will open your eyes of understanding for you to know the right thing to do to escape the pangs of poverty. You will know the exact businesses to invest in and the right skills to learn that will help you become prosperous in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will prosper your mind and make you see beyond your present level. The first prosperity indeed starts from the mind that was the reason God told Abraham that as far as his eyes can see. I pray for you that your mindset is enlarged for you to see wealth instead of poverty, opportunities instead of problems, abundance instead of lack in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Psalm 35 that God is interested in the prosperity of His servants. According to God's Word, I pray for you that the Lord will begin to show you avenues on how to prosper exceedingly. Just like how God gave Jacob an idea, and he prospered more than his uncle. That is the same way God is planting great business ideas that will make you own business empires in the name of Jesus. You are given an idea that will make poverty become a thing of the past in your lineage. The Bible says that young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But those who put their trust in God will never lack anything good. I pray for you that you won't lack anything good in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you have sufficient in all things. Lack will not make you beg as you will lend and never borrow. Genesis 39 verses 21 to 23 says, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. The keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did there, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority, because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. According to the word of the Lord, I pray for you that the Lord will make you find favor in the sight of great men and cause you to be placed in a place of authority, power, and influence in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will make you stand out among your contemporaries and cause your skill to be outstanding among the lot in the name of Jesus. You won't be sidelined for any reason at all in Jesus' name. The grace of God will exempt you from the crowd and make you become the favored one. Deuteronomy 2 verse 7 says, For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hand. He knows you are trudging through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord your God has been with you. You have lacked nothing. Because of the word of God, I decree over you that the Lord will bless the work of your hands and will bring you out of the wilderness that you are in presently. The word of God says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only, and not be beneath, if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. I pray for you that you will always be the head, and not the tail. You will be above, and not beneath. I also declare over you that the Lord will not allow you to lag in anything you set your mind and hands to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In everything you are to give thanks to God, whether in the good times or bad, the word of God made it clear to us that you should enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. You should be grateful and not a complainer or an ingrate. If you imbibe the culture of thanksgiving, you will find it hard to complain, grumble or murmur because thanksgiving has been your default state. The devil does not want you to be grateful to God by telling him thank you. He will exaggerate the things that you are going through and make it look like God is not faithful 
and that God does not love you. He wants the worship to himself, so he often distorts the realities of things and makes you complain. And when you complain or grumble, you give him utmost pleasure. Thanksgiving should be something you do without being coaxed or coerced to do so. You are a being that was created to give God pleasure, and one way you can give God pleasure is by thanking Him in season and out of season. If you have not been thanking God enough, you can start doing that now. It is never too late to thank God. Remember that only the living can give God thanks. This simply means that as long as you are alive, you have every opportunity to give God thanks. Today, we will be giving God thanks for being a loving and faithful God to us. Just think of all the good things He has done for you and just tell Him thank you. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you for keeping and loving us. We bless your name for being there with us in the good times and bad. Blessed be your name, Lord. Your word says that we should enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And we are doing that now with all sincerity and humility of heart. Psalm 107 verse 1 says to give thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. We are saying thank you Lord because you are good and your mercies endureth forever in our lives and families. We are thanking you because you always shower us with your love and kindness every day of our lives. We bless your name, Lord. You have never for once allowed the wicked ones to have an upper hand over us, because your mercy will keep us from being consumed. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we are thanking you for daily loading us with benefits and carrying us daily. Your word says that daily you are carrying us and loading us with benefits. It is on this premise that we are confident that we can never be stranded, and we can never lack anything good, and that we can never be stranded because your benefits are sufficient for us daily. Glory be to your holy name, Lord. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. According to your word, we are thanking you, Lord, because you have given us the ability of not complaining and being anxious about anything. And instead of these, we will make our requests known to you alongside thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We bless your name, Lord, because you have given us the willpower to remain grateful instead of grumbling and complaining about the things that we have no control over. Father, we want to say a big thank you for keeping us safe from the traps and pits of the wicked ones. We are grateful because you have delivered us from all the manipulation of the wicked ones who are bent on frustrating all our efforts. Blessed be your holy name, Lord, because we have been given the ability to evade the arrows of the wicked ones that are shot against us and our loved ones. Glory be to your holy name, Lord Jesus, for always giving us victory in your name against all the plans of the wicked ones. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making us come out victorious over all satanic manipulations that are targeted at putting our lives on a standstill. We bless your name, Lord, for giving us the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies. Glory be to your mighty name. You are a God that always gives us victory in all unsavory situations. Colossians 4 verse 2 says that we should continue steadfastly in prayers and be watchful in it with thanksgiving. According to your word, Lord, we give you the praise for making us steadfast in prayers and also helping us be watchful with thanksgiving. Glory be to your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering all our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, do well to do that now. You can as well like and share this video to your loved ones. God bless you on every side.